In this lesson, we're going to create the wheels for the dumpster. All right, so let's go ahead and go to our front view by hitting F on the keyboard. And one thing that I noticed really quickly was that the uh, the objects here that hold the arm for the dumpster is actually sticking out just a little bit. So uh, to kind of fix this issue, um, let's make sure that we grab uh, those pieces. And let me actually attach those to the dumpster itself. So let's go to dumpster and attach those metal pieces. And then I'm going to go to vertex mode in my front view. And let's hit F3 and let's select just those vertices on that piece. Okay. Make sure that you don't have any vertices in the actual dumpster itself. And then let's rotate that to where it's inside the object there. So try to get that, that angle to be the same there. All right, so now that we've fixed that, let's go into our front view and let's create our wheel. So we're going to use a cylinder, just like we've been doing uh, with these types of shapes. And we'll build this out. Let's make sure that we have 12 sides and also make sure you have your height set. And let's just go ahead and position this on our object. Now this is going to sit just a little bit lower because there's going to be a piece that actually connects to the wheel itself. So to get started with this, um, let's go to our front view and let's make sure that we get the proportions right. So I'm going to take my radius up and let's go to about 4 on that. I think 4 is going to be a good value for us. Let's drop that down just a little bit lower and let's convert it to editable poly. Let's get the thickness that we want on this wheel. So I'm going to go to polygon mode, select this polygon and pull that out. And we want the wheels to be a little bit thicker. They need to be kind of heavy duty looking. So now let's select the polygons on the outside and let's use inset. So I'm going to inset this amount and we're going to go to, I think one's probably a, a good value for us. So let's go ahead and keep that the way it is. And then I want to scale those polygons out away from one another. So to do this, let's convert our selection to vertex because we want to scale from the middle and let's go to scale tool and pull that out. All right now uh, before we do anything let's make sure that we switch this back to view so that way it does scale outward properly. Alright so now that we have our thickness we could round out that tire just a little bit more by selecting these loops on the outside edge and using chamfer and let's take our amount down and we could also add a segment in there to really round it out. Okay, Give it that nice readable highlight there. Alright, so now let's take those polygons and let's inset those one more time because I want to create kind of a flat edge on the outside of that. And I'm going to take that amount down just a little bit more. Let's do something like 0.8. Let's hit OK and delete. Let's hit F3 and uh, let's select those borders and let's bridge that. So once that has been bridged with those edges still selected let's go ahead and chamfer those to soften that edge. Okay, Let's make sure that our amount is down just a little bit lower. I want that to be a little bit of a tighter curve there. Okay so now we have these polygons but we've got the outside edge of the wheel, but now we need something like spokes or, or something like that that actually connects uh, to uh, an assembly for this. So we're going to create a cylinder for the center. So let's go to our front view and let's create one more cylinder. Okay, and let's try to get this as close as possible to the center. We'll go to something uh, about this size here. Now, once that has been created, um, let's do center to object for our pivot point. And let's do the same thing for this object here. Let's make sure that that is centered. Now I'm going to take this new cylinder and let's align it to this object. And we'll do pivot to pivot and we'll do X, Y, and Z. And hit OK. So now you'll see that that is now moved into position. And there we go. So at this point what I want to do is I want to scale the cylinder out because I want it to be fairly close to the outside edge right here. Okay, Maybe a little inside. 
Now we want to attach it so we can access the polygons of both objects. So let's go to Modify and Attach. Now remember, if you want to use Attach, you need to make sure that you have an editable poly object selected. So if you're trying to select the cylinder, you won't be able to get Attach. So let's use this one and Attach, and there we go. Now with this, I want to go to Polygon Mode by hitting 4 on the keyboard and we're going to use bridge in a different way. The way we have been using bridge before is we've been bridging gaps between edges and now what we can do is we can use bridge to actually create geometry between two polygons. So to get started with this um, let's go to edge mode and let's create the segments that we need for those spokes to attach to. So I'm going to use connect let's split that into two and let me take that pinch amount up just a little bit and then we'll hit OK and then we're going to do the same thing on the inside here so we'll use connect we should have that same amount let's hit OK and now let's go to polygon mode and select two polygons on the top and then also on the inside we're going to skip two and then we'll select two more same thing here we'll skip two select two and reciprocate that on this piece on, uh, here. So with those polygons selected, let's use bridge. Now I hit extrude and I wanted to use bridge, there we go. And now you can see that we have a set of polygons or spokes that have now uh, been bridged from the centerpiece to the wheel. Now you can add segments if you want uh, to this and if you add segments you have the ability of using taper which you can get a different shape out of your object. So either way, uh, you can go, uh, you can taper it and, and do that if you want. I'm going to go ahead and take my taper down to zero and then also my segments down to one. Let's hit OK. And there we go. So we've created the actual wheel portion of this. Let's make sure that we chamfer the edges out here. And chamfering the edges on this, you'll notice that we have to hold down control and select all of those edges. A, a quick way to do uh, to select those edges is to convert our polygon selection. So with those selected, we can hold down control, and go to edge mode. Now we have that selected. Let's use chamfer. Just kind of soften that up a little bit. So take my amount down just a little bit. I want it to be kind of a large, rounded area, and then we'll hit OK. So now we've created the wheel. Now in our next lesson what we're going to do is we're going to create the assembly that actually attaches that to the dumpster. So we'll get started with that next.